we urge you, brothers, admonish the idol. And, and, and when we go through these, there's three different kinds of people. And what I want you to imagine in your minds is like a kindergarten class. And you remember in kindergarten class, they would all be in a single file line. And sometimes they'd have to hold that rope when they would go places. You remember it's like a, like a, a rope ladder and everyone would hold a rung in the lo- rope and it would keep all the kids together, right? So in, in this case, there are three different kinds of people that are in line there that Paul says, you need to be really compassionate. You need to show mercy to these people. The first one is the idol. And, and that can be translated unruly. Specifically, it's a soldier who keeps falling out of line. And so if you have in your mind that kindergarten field trip, and they're all walking to the same place, and they're all holding on, but there's that one kid who maybe isn't even a a, a mean-spirited kid. He's just curious, and he's easily distracted, and he keeps, his attention keeps getting taken off of where they're supposed to be going. And so he drops the rope, and he's off doing things, and he's getting himself in trouble, right? Now, what Paul is saying is here, you need to go to those idle people, those unruly people, those people who are easily distracted and easily fall out of line and take their eyes off of the Lord and where we're supposed to be going. And you need to bring them back into line. You need to, come on, get back in line, right? This is what we're supposed to be doing. Look at the second person here, to the faint-hearted. He says this, he says, I want you to encourage the faint-hearted. The faint-hearted is that little kid who's in line who's just thinking, we're never going to get there. This is taking too long, Oh, this is terrible. My feet hurt. I'm hungry. It's hot. And eventually they drop the rope and they just sit down where they're at and say, I'm not going any further. Right? That's the faint-hearted person. It's the person who, who's easily discouraged, who easily feels like the world is falling, around, or falling apart around them. And what Paul is saying is to that person, you got to go, be, come on, get up off the ground. We got to keep going. We're not finished yet. Right? So that's the second person. Look at the third person. He says, what you need to do, you need to find the weak and you need to help them. The weak is the one who's, who's on the journey too. He's holding onto the rope, but maybe they legitimately are sick. Maybe they legitimately can't make it. Maybe they've done all that they can to try to get what they're going, but they've nothing left to give. That you come to that person, and the word help, it means to take by the shoulders and to stand face to face and to shake them. And to tell them, you are going to make it, and I'm not going to let you fail. And if you have to, you carry that person to where the destination is. And so you go to that person, come on, we're going to make it. You can go, I will carry you if you need help. Right? So we come to these people, we come alongside these people, we're all in this together, and we need each other. Because here's the fact of the matter, there are some days in my spiritual walk where I'm the idle person. Where I, I'm distracted and my eyes are not where they should be. I need you to come alongside me sometimes. Sometimes I'm the faint-hearted person. I say, you know what? I don't think I'm ever going to make it to where I'm going. I might as well just give up now. And I need you. Come on! And sometimes I'm just broken down and beaten by the world or beaten by ministry. And I need you to come alongside me and lift me up and carry me. We all need each other. And sometimes from day to day we can be different. And we, we're one of these, right? But we're, not every day is the same. You follow me? 